For this project, I'm using 100% cotton fabric that's been washed, dried, and pressed. For the ties, trim away the selvage edges and cut four strips along the lengthwise grain, three inches wide by 15 inches long. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. Fold each strip lengthwise with right sides together, matching the long edges. Stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish. Adjust the straps and press the seams open without pressing the sides. On one end of each strap, fold over the seam allowance right along the stitch line and then stitch across with a quarter inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish. Instead of originally pivoting at the bottom seam, I find the corner comes out a lot nicer this way. Trim all the corners on an angle, making sure not to cut any of the stitching. Push the ends in and then use something like the top of a knitting needle to turn them right side out. Use the other end of the knitting needle or a point turner to carefully push out the corners. Adjust the seam so that it's right in the center and then press flat. To calculate the length of the fabric, measure around your pillow with the measuring tape held snug but not tight. Then add 14 inches to that measurement. For the width, measure across from seam to seam and add 1 inch. I'm folding my fabric in half with right sides together, removing the selvage edges and then cutting a piece so that it's a total of 20 inches wide by 72 inches long. Turn it around so that the short ends are facing you. Mark a line across half an inch up from the edge, then mark a second line 7 inches up from the edge. Then repeat on the other side. Separate the fabric and then match that shorter edge to the first line giving you a quarter inch fold. Fold a quarter inch again and clip in place. If you need to, continue along the entire edge and then repeat on the other end. With the folded edge running along the inside of the presser foot, edge stitch across back tacking at the start and finish. Of course you can skip marking this first line and clipping if you're used to doing double folded hems. With the fabric right side up, press the hem flat and then fold along that second line, press across and then repeat on the other side. Open up again and then mark along the crease 5.5 inches in from the edge on both sides. Center the open ends of the straps on each mark. Carefully fold up the fabric again, making sure the ends are right into the fold, clip in place and then repeat on the other side. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, stitch across the folds, back tacking at the start and finish. Also back tack along the edges of the straps to reinforce them. With wrong side up, pull out the ends and press the seam flat. Fold up the fabric again, adjust the seam so that it's right in the center, press across and then repeat on the other side. Fold in half with wrong sides together, lining up the top and side edges. Clip both sides and then stitch together with a quarter inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment below. Use scissors or a rotary knife to trim the seams down to about an eighth of an inch. Adjust the pillowcase and press those two seams flat. Turn it wrong side out and poke out the bottom corners. Flip over one of the flaps to the other side and then carefully push out the corners. What you should have now is a little flap folded over across the top edge. Adjust the side seam so that it's right in the center, press flat and clip in place. 
stitch both sides with a quarter inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish. This method of sewing the sides is called a French seam. Pull each side at the top of the flap so that you have a nice straight edge and then turn right side out. Press the seams flat and then just double check that you don't see any raw edges poking through the seam. If you do, just go back in and stitch with a wider seam allowance. Insert the pillow and then wrap the end of the pillow with the flap on the front. This will leave the front nice and smooth with the flap edges showing in the back. Tie the straps into bows and you have a really pretty pillowcase. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out my video up next.